welcome back to my channel the name is Palissa M and today we're going to be doing makeup so you can see I have done my skin prep but I'm going to use this Clarence refresh spray and I'm just going to mist that all over my face this spray is hydrating but I feel like it also helps my makeup apply very smoothly so I spray liberally and by liberally I mean a lot of it and today's foundation is the Maybelline Superstay um, 24 hour foundation. I love this one. It's a mattifying foundation, but I'm using this one because it's full coverage. I'm not in the mood to be concealing my dark spots. Quick tip, always shake your foundations. That just helps them blend better and make sure it's mixed together. I use two pumps of this foundation. I like to put it on the back of my palm because that warms the foundation up i know it looks a little bit bright but trust the process it's going to look too good so i used the flat brush and i applied streaks of it now this is sped up but what i'm doing is tapping the foundation into my skin you can already see the blend this is a matte foundation but look at how my skin glows if you want to see my skin prep please do follow me on instagram i have a reel of the product and the order of application So this is what it looks like blended you can see it looks a bit bright but it blends into my skin tone look how it like kind of fits with my neck i go in with a beauty blender it's damp <laughs> and then i'm going in with the essence cosmetics camouflage concealer i'm using this one today i don't know why i just picked it out of my makeup case but i'm applying that on my under eyes and product placement is very very important because that will give your face a shape so you need to sort of experiment with placing products and where to place them i'm blending this in with a real techniques brush sometimes i use a sponge sometimes i use a brush but this is office makeup so brushes are always faster for me because i do not want to be late for work don't drag your makeup you want to tap it into your skin to contour i'm using shade 342 from l'oreal this is my contour shade I'm just applying a few like drops of it on my cheeks and and then I'm going to contour my nose this is just to bring back a bit of warmth and to give my face a shape because you can see right now my face just looks bland okay <music> using this real techniques mini brush i've gotten a lot of questions if my brush broke or not no this is just the mini version of the brush and i am tapping that contour concealer into my skin you can see now we've got some cheekbones and i'm going ahead and blending it into my nose and you can see the beat is taking shape now this is how the girl looks good every day in the morning snatching that nose this brush is a bit big but i have mastered how to use it to shape my nose and then i took a big fluffy brush using my yardly absolute translucent powder it wiped off the name because i was cleaning my product shake some product in taking a smaller brush for my under eye first because my under eyes do tend to crease and i'm just setting my under eye once that is done i did switch to a bigger brush and i'm going to set my under eye again my creases do tend to get oily so i want my makeup to really set and be sitting because this has to last me the whole day at the office i don't want to walk out or walk around the office by lunchtime looking bad too crazy 
This is a trick I learned recently. If you have smile lines like me, blow up your cheeks and then apply your powder because this lets it get into the creases and the folds and it just helps your makeup set a lot better. Bye bye smile lines. To snatch my face and give me this sleek thin look because the girl's face is looking kind of round, I like to put a bit of that powder on my jawline and I like to set my eyebrows so if you're not into brow gels and whatnot setting with a powder will help I'm using the she cosmetics glow palette I think is what it's called and I'm just going to go in with the fluffy brush and kind of set my contour this is a powder so this is just setting my contour <music> And I'm going in with the Catrice Cosmetics Air Blush Matte and I'm going to put some on my cheeks. I've fallen in love with using blush. I don't know what happened. I was never a blush girl but lately mm -mm, I like like the rosiness and you know it, it, it makes my cheeks look kind of cute you know because now we're in cheek season. So I do alternate between brushes just to make sure that I've blended it out very well. I went and I did my brows off camera with the Essence, um, it's kind of a wax brow pencil and then after that I just set my makeup with the MAC um, powder, this is in the shade Dark. I go in circular motions, I don't know this just helps my makeup to blend in better. To set my makeup, I'm using the Avon Mark Magic Setting Spray. Listen, I go by this. This is very affordable, but it lasts me quite a long time. And I like to spray a lot of it because this is an all-day makeup look and I want my makeup to sit still. To do my eyelashes, I'm going to go in with the Essence Princess Lash Mascara. It's the green one. I don't usually wear lashes to work so this is why I'm showing you this I just go in on my top lash and on my bottom lash I barely have lashes like you can barely see them but for work because I wear glasses this is very convenient This is my trio for my lips. I use the Essence Casual Pencil to line my lip. I love this brown shade. It works so well with almost all of my lipsticks and lip glosses. And then I'm going to go in with the Isabel Garcia Pink Gloss. The name rubbed off so I don't know exactly which shade this is. But it's a translucent pink color. And then I like to gloss up my lips because you guys know I live for gloss and I'm going to use um, lip therapy from Discam just to make my lips look, you know, a lot glossier. And that is it for my makeup look. Like I'm just ready to get dressed. Hey loves. So this is the finished look. You can see my face is looking really cute and neat for work. And it's very simple. I did put on some eyelashes just because I wanted to like make the picture, the makeup in the thumbnail picture pop. And that's why I took, um, I put the lashes on. But this is a quick routine and that is how I always look so put together. Obviously I did switch my foundation but I am going to leave all the products in the description box down below. Don't hesitate to ask me any questions if you have them. And here's to looking cute on every working day. And honestly, I used to go to work without makeup when my skin was okay or whatever. But now I'm kind of enjoying, you know, playing around with makeup and also putting on glasses and things, you know. And I look, you know, I look good and in turn I feel good. Like the confidence level just ups a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave me your comment, and I will see you in my next one.